Day nine of this trial may have added up to the longest day so far for this jury. Just before 5 p.m., the judge wrapped up jury instructions and told the jury they may now retire to begin deliberations. Marilyn Mosby telling 11 News she is grateful as she exited the courthouse during the afternoon lunch break, flanked by her children and surrounded by supporters. This scene came shortly after closing arguments concluded. The government's final pitch to the jury, you have all the evidence and testimony you need, including testimony from the defendant herself, to return guilty verdicts on both counts. Marilyn Mosby standing trial here on two counts of mortgage fraud, accused of lying, including to hide tax debt and the source of some closing funds in order to secure home loans and lock in lower interest rates. The defendant had tremendous knowledge of her tax debt, prosecutors told the jury. She knew exactly what was going on. The evidence proves it. Let's take her at her word. The defense argued to the jury, Marilyn Mosby is not guilty and told the panel to look at the big picture. The defense blamed Mosby's trusted advisors for the faults on the forms, including her then husband, her realtor and her mortgage broker. They're to blame, the defense told the jury for filling out the legal documents incorrectly. Ms. Mosby isn't guilty because she wanted to believe in her life partner for just a little too long. The judge began jury instructions around 4 o'clock this afternoon that lasted for nearly an hour before the jury began deliberations and instructions included this note from the judge that members of the panel need only reach a unanimous decision on one alleged false statement per count in order to reach a guilty verdict on that count. In Greenbelt, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.